Stay all day, Doctor. You are now tuned into the show where you earn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative. That is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is success is math, not magic. Before we get into the topic, let me tell you a couple things. First of all, I want you to text me and tell me the best insight that you got from today's masterclass while you are listening. Anything you hear that really catches your ear, catches your heart, and you got to write it down. You say, oh, that's that's some that's some real game that Dre just dropped right there. I mean, the whole episode is going to be a whole bunch of games. So don't just text me the whole episode. But something that really catches you, I want you to text me tell me what it is. Text me at this number, 305-384-6894. And not only will you be able to text me and tell me that, but also from that line, I send out a daily motivation text message every morning. So once you text me, you'll be in my text community and you'll be getting that daily motivation text every day to your phone. Secondly, the next step for you to work with me directly is joining my university at workonyourgameuniversity.com. That's where you get access to all of my courses. My Bulletproof Mindset 2.0 is my, my most popular course. My next mission course was about people who are transitioning from one career to the next. My Business Builder course, which is about the foundational pieces you need to understand about building and running a business, specifically online. A 30 Days of Discipline course, ASAP Confidence course. There are 20 plus courses in there, exclusive trainings in there. That is work on your game university, again, dot com. Work on your game university dot com. So with that said, let's get into the topic here today. Success is math, not magic. I got to give a hat tip to <clears throat> Kim Walsh Phillips via Ramon Ray, a couple of friends of mine from the uh, Breakfast with Champions community. If y'all don't know what that is, that's a uh, clubhouse. Well, it started on clubhouse community. It's really a media community, but I speak there on clubhouse every Monday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. And that's a live, y'all know what Clubhouse is, audio live streaming. But uh, uh, my friend Ramon mentioned this saying, success is math, not magic. And he mentioned that he heard it from Kim Walsh Phillips. So I got to give a hat tip to both of them for this. Now they didn't, neither one of them was talking about this in depth. But when I heard it, I wrote it down. I said, no, I'm going to make a whole masterclass out of that exact topic. So here, Ramon and Kim, I'm giving you your credit for this. Now, from this point forward, I own it. So they planted the seed of this idea in me. And I'm going to take it and make a whole mass class out of it. So they made it a hot line. I'm going to make it a hot song. So this is one of my skills that I can take an idea here at one time. It could take five seconds and then I can say, no, that's such a good idea. I'm going to flesh that out and make a whole, a whole uh, lesson about it. And that's exactly what you're about to watch me do or listen to me do. So let's get to it. Point number one, topic once again is success is math, not magic. Point number one, in episode number 2141, I told you that the data decides so this is not a brand new idea to me. It's a good phrase that they said, math, not magic, but the data deciding is not new. I talked about this episode 2141. What's today's episode? Today's episode is, I'm just looking at my document, we're at 2,458. So it was almost a year ago that I said that. So again, this ain't new. The data deciding is about you getting clear on what measurable outcomes you need to be looking at in order to determine the success or failure the forward progress or the backward regress of your business. That's what it means when the data decides. In other words, you are not deciding whether things are getting better or worse for you based on how you uh, feel emotionally, based on any uh, anecdotal situations, but actually based on things that you can look at and you can measure and you can count and you can say in black and white, I was here before, I'm here now, we can clearly measure that I have improved. Or we can clearly measure that we are stagnating. Or we can clearly measure that I'm going backwards. That's what it means when the data decides. You're using actual data, not feelings, and not just uh, not just random uh, anecdotal uh, evidence or your you know, quote unquote lived experience to know whether you're going forward or backward, which is what many entrepreneurs do, and is why many entrepreneurs cannot create sustained success. When you know exactly what the data is, all your decisions should be governed by said data, not governed by your feelings or your emotions or your gut instincts. If you are a professional at what you do, what I just said should not be alarming to you, nor should it be news to you. If this is news to you, then I want to uh, suggest that you professionalize your business 
as quickly as possible. I talked about professionalizing your business in episode number 1310, how to professional, um, checking the, checking this uh, document, professionalize your business, episode 1310 and also episode 2433, professionalizing your business parts one and part two. Uh, one of the things that you do when you professionalize your business is you operate via data. You are clear on what's working, what's not, what you're doing, what you're not doing, where you're going, where you're not going. And again, it is not just based on your gut instincts or whatever is in your head. It's based on things that are in black and white. So if you want to get consistent results at anything that you do, business or not, this should not be news to you. And in episode number 2446, I just told you about knowing your numbers and knowing your numbers is not limited to a business conversation. You need to know your numbers and whatever you know. If you're trying to lose weight, you should know your numbers. You should know your numbers. What are you putting in your body? What are the numbers of those things you're putting in your body? What are the numbers on that scale? What are the numbers of your measurements? If you're trying to, if you're trying to check your, just the shape of your body, you should know the numbers. If you're looking at the performance of your vehicle, for example, you need to know the numbers. Even when you're looking at, you look at something like the, the iPhone, or a computer, an Apple computer. I've had, I've been using Apple products, ex probably mostly when it comes to laptops and phones for the last over 10 years. And I've gone through several laptops and several phones. And when the laptop is looking like it might need to be, the battery might need to be replaced, you know what happens. If any of you have been through this, what do you do? You call Apple or you take your computer to the Apple store and what they do is they plug it in and they go into uh, certain settings on the computer and they walk you through how you can actually do this. You can even Google it and they'll show you. And you go into the settings and there's a part with the battery and it looks at the cycles. It looks how many times has this battery gone through a cycle? And that is basically how many times has it gone down in charge and then come back up in charge and it, each battery in an Apple computer, they get stronger and stronger with each version that they make. But each battery is made to go through a certain number of cycles before it needs to be replaced or it is significantly weaker than it was when you first got it. And at that point, you should probably get a new battery or a new computer. What is the whole point of me sharing that? Numbers. They know the numbers. When I call Apple and say, hey, my battery is not holding the charge the way that it used to, the first thing they do is not say, how do you feel about it? They don't say, what, is the, what are the computer's emotions? They don't ask you, sir, what is your gut instinct about the battery? And they don't tell me what theirs is. The first thing they do is look at the numbers. Again, listen to episode 2446. Point number two, today's topic once again is success is math, not magic. Number two, depending on magic is when you are doing what I just said not to do. And you should listen closely because a bunch of you do this. You're depending on your gut instincts, your feelings, your intuitions, and your random ideas. Then you put all of those together in some kind of uh, uh, mashup. And you combine them all together and hope that things eventually work out when you combine them with focus, discipline, hard work, motivation, and beliefs. Now, all of these things sound like good ideas, right? Your gut instincts, your feelings, your intuitions, random ideas that you pick up from wherever you get them from. Focus, discipline, hard work, motivation, belief. Listen, I got episodes on this very show, in this very feed, about every single one of those things that I just said. Every single one of them I have an episode telling you how to use these, the value of them, you know when to use them, where to use them, etc. I have episodes espousing the value of these exact elements. But you have to understand that just because there is value in them does not mean you should always use them all the time. All right. Again, wisdom is knowing when to use which information and when not to use it. So this concoction of just going off of your internal feelings and then combining it with all the quantitative things like discipline, hard work, motivation, all right, this is a bullshit concoction that does not work. Again, I like milk, almond milk, at least when I put it in my protein shake, and I will enjoy a glass of champagne on New Year's Eve, but you probably don't want to mix milk and champagne. All right, just because each one of them is good on their own does not mean you should put them all together and call that a new thing. All right, that doesn't, that doesn't make it twice as good. You get what I'm saying here? If you want proof of this, look around at all the people in the world who are depending on this combination and not getting the sustainable, predictable, or consistent results that they probably want. And you may be this person, so you may only need to go as far as looking in the mirror. I hear from people who are doing this every single day, and sometimes people don't want to admit it, but I can tell just by listening to them tell me a little bit about what they're doing, it becomes obvious uh, relatively quickly. The funny thing about magic, folks, and the biggest challenge that comes with it is that every now and then it works. See, this is the biggest challenge with magic, and magic being just those things that I talked about. The, you're going off your internal feelings and then combining it with all these you know, 
hard work, motivation, discipline, and all that stuff. That's that combination together is you believing in magic, like believing in Santa Claus. And see, sometimes it works. Sometimes you believe Santa Claus is going to bring you a new toy for Christmas, and then you actually get the toy. You say, hey, look, I believe Santa Claus is going to bring me the toy. I got the toy, so that must prove that Santa Claus exists. Not exactly. All right, that's a logical fallacy, but this is how some people think. I believe that this was going to happen and then it happens. So that must mean if I just keep believing, then it'll happen again. Or if I believe twice as hard, twice as much stuff will happen. Logical fallacy, folks. And this is the funny thing about magic is that every now and then it works. Because if magic never worked, then I wouldn't even have to be, we wouldn't even be having this conversation today. If magic never worked, I wouldn't have to tell you that success is mad, not magic because you would try magic a few times, see that it didn't work and you would never try it again. You would say, okay, well, that's enough of that. But because it works every now and then, now people get deluded into believing, well, if I just keep trying that same thing that I did before, maybe magic will happen again. And then you go the whole rest of your life hoping for magic to happen again, then it never happens. And then you're like, well, I don't know what went wrong. Well, I'm telling you. The biggest challenge with magic is that it works every now and then. All right, it's not that it never works, it's that it does work. All right, that's the thing that fools you. It fools a person into thinking that the magic will happen over and over again, kind of like lightning striking in the same place twice. It's very hard to get somebody out of this mentality. Usually, for someone to get out of this mentality of believing in magic, you gotta let them fall flat on their face on a hard concrete for them to get the point. It's kind of like in basketball, which is my background, a basketball player who's not a good shooter. We all know he's not a good shooter. The scouting report says this player is not a good shooter. The opponent knows that this player is not a good shooter. His teammates know this player is not a good shooter, but this, he's the kind of player who insist on trying to shoot a couple three-pointers every single game even though you know most of the time they're not going to go in the basket here's the magic is when that player at the beginning of the game gets an open three-pointer shoots it which he shouldn't shoot it because most of his shots don't go in but then the shot goes in <clears throat> the worst thing that can happen to this player is the shot actually going in any basketball players listening to this any basketball coaches listening to this if you got a player who fits this description you know exactly what i'm talking about it it's cool if he shoots one and misses it because now you know he's probably not going to shoot another one because he just missed. But if he makes the first one, oh, now it's a problem because now here's what's going to happen to that player who made the first shot but is not really a good shooter. They're going to keep shooting threes for the rest of the game and miss all of them. Why? Because the magic of the first one going in has them believing that the next one's going to go in and the next one and the next one and the next one. And then they go one for eight shooting three pointers that game only because the first one went in. Now, see, if they had missed the first one, they would just go 0 for 1 because they wouldn't shoot the second one. But the first one going in caused them to believe in magic. Some of you are running your business and your careers just like this. You had some magic happen early on or some magic happened to you recently. And because of that magic, now you believe that the magic is just duplicatable and you can replicate that magic even though there was no strategy behind the magic happening the first time. Which again, it doesn't make logical sense. But again, this is, this is how people end up causing themselves to fail in their lives and their careers and they're doing things that don't make logical sense and they somehow got lucky and it worked so now they just keep doing it, it doesn't make sense but uh, again you gotta let them fall on their face for them to get the point point number three today's topic once again is success is math not magic the point of this whole concept of success being math and not magic is that in the math side you can systematically systemically and strategically create success in a calculated way that is both predictable and process driven. I don't know what's the difference between systemically and systematically, but we'll just call it systemically. You can have a system, that's the point, and a strategy to create success in a way that is calculated, meaning you can plan it ahead of time and predict it via the process that you're going to follow. All right, that's the great thing about success being math, which means you don't need to be any sort of genius or super talented individual to be successful. This is the good news for everybody. You just need to be strategic, consistent, disciplined, and willing to submit to rational, logical, and objective truths about what is in front of you. That's harder than being talented. <laughs> actually, now that, I'm, now that I'm saying it out loud, now that you're hearing it, that's actually harder. All right? It's easier to be talented than to do what I just said. So you don't have to be talented, but here's what you do have to do. All right, let, me tell, let me say it again what you will have to do if you want to be a successful individual. You need to be strategic, meaning you have to have a strategy. You must be consistent. You must be disciplined. And you must be willing to submit to rational, logical, and objective truths about what is in front of you. As long as you can do all that, you can be successful. Everyone has the capability of doing that. Not everyone's capable of being a magician. Not everybody is, has the same talents, but anybody can do what I just said. Now, this takes a little bit of effort, but it can be done. 
So how is it then that this sounds so simple yet such a small percentage of people are willing to do it? Or right, is the same reason why Disney World does more business every year than all the libraries in America put together? Because it's more fun to believe in magic. I mean, if you had the option of going spending a whole day in any place you wanted, any facility you wanted to, and it was all expenses paid, would you go to Disney World or would you go to the library? All right, nobody listening to this would go to the library. Everybody would go to Disney World. Why? Because it's more fun to believe in magic. All right, people pay more money for entertainment than we pay to all the educators in America put together. All right, who's the host on the late night TV shows? Jimmy Kimmel? What's the other guy? Uh, Conan O'Brien? I don't even know who the guys are at late night TV. I'm, I'm usually in bed. But those late night TV people, all right, they make more money. Any one of those individuals makes more money per year than all the teachers in America put together. Let me see, who's the late night? Who hosts the late night TV talk show? I'm asking Siri. Let's see, the late night TV talk shows. So they're telling me the, uh, they called the part where I said I'm asking Siri. Let's see. I'm gonna find out the names of these people. I think it's Conan O'Brien, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so I'm looking at this. Uh, so I see a picture of David Letterman. I see oh, Jimmy Fallon is another guy. He's got a TV show. There's Conan O'Brien, Jay Leno. Uh, you know all these people, all these TV people. Uh, even Ellen, Trevor Noah, even people who don't have a show anymore. What was the other guy's name? I can't remember his name. They make more money than all the teachers put together. In your city, all of the teachers put together don't make as much money as these TV guys. Why? Because we care more about entertainment, which is a form of magic, than education, which is you know, doing the work, being logical, rational, objective, disciplined. Uh, Y'all know all the stuff. Let's recap today's class, which is success is math, not magic. Point number one, in episode 2141, I told you that you have to have the data deciding. The data deciding is about getting clear on what measurable outcomes you need to be looking at to determine success or failure, forward progress, backward regress, of your business if you are a professional this should be a normal way of operating if you are a professional this is how you should operate if you are not doing this you are not being professional you are i don't know what you want to call yourself but professional is not it in episode number 2446 i told you about knowing your numbers and that is not limited to business point number two depending on magic is when you defer to your gut instincts feelings intuitions and random ideas putting them all together and hoping that it eventually works when it's combined with focus, discipline, hard work, motivation, and beliefs. If you want proof, again, look at all the people who are trying this and not getting the results. All right, if you want to get results, you have to get clear on exactly what you are doing here, and that's what getting the math in place means. And one reason that magic works is because, one reason that magic is appealing, rather, is because every once in a while, it actually works. And when magic works, it fools people into thinking that they just keep doing the same thing that eventually magic is going to keep happening over and over again. Point number three, the point of this whole concept is of success being math, not magic, is that you can systemically and strategically create success in a calculated way that is predictable and process driven. You just got to be strategic, consistent, disciplined, and willing to submit to objective truths about what is in front of you. All right, this is the same. And why is it then, since this is so, so simple, everybody understands what I just said, why do such a small percentage of people uh, submit to doing this is the same reason why people rather go to Disney World than go to the library. It's more fun to believe in magic. So the question is, are you deferring to the math or are you hoping with the magic? Are you wishing on a star and wishing on magic? All I said, text me, tell me the best insight you got from today's class. My number is 305-384-6894. You also get the daily motivation and go to workonyourgameuniversity.com right now. Get enrolled in the university so you can start taking all of our courses from bulletproof mindset to the work on your game system, the 30 days of discipline to ASAP confidence, all of that you get lifetime access to. In addition to the fact I'm gonna send you two physical mailings every month, my black book and also the bulletproof bulletin. That is at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre all day.